course of this half hour, an inspiring story about a young girl with a condition so rare that no one, not even experts, know how many people it affects. It's known as CIPA, the inability to feel any physical pain. And that 12-year-old girl is using her diagnosis to make a difference. GMA special contributor Cameron Matheson had a chance to spend some time with her. Here's her story. What if pain, the thing that parents try hardest to protect their children from, what if that was the thing your child needed most? Everyone's like, oh, what a good baby you have. But as time went on, the red flags started going up. From the moment she was born, Ashlyn Blocker didn't cry when she was hungry or had diaper rash, or even when, at just eight months old, her parents took her to the eye doctor. When they put the dye in her eye, everyone just kind of gasped. She had a big corneal abrasion across her eye. They were astonished she wasn't in pain. It was then her parents got the shocking, devastating news. Their baby couldn't feel any pain. It was scary because, you know, there weren't very many good outcomes that were involved with this condition. People passing away from appendicitis because they didn't have the warning signs and bone infections. I understand that the toddler years were some of the worst where she yes. continued to injure herself. Yeah. The biting, her burning her hands, different things. Tara actually would wrap her hands up with athletic tape. She'd be our little boxer. Photo after photo document injuries that pained her parents, but not their little girl. What is it like for you to send her out the door every day, knowing what can happen without you there to watch? It was rough at first. A medical mystery that for Ashlyn, now 12, I love this room. Thank you. I love the color. Is just a normal part of life. How would you describe to somebody like me what it feels like to, to not have any pain? It's just me, it's all I've ever known. You tell me which finger you feel it on, okay? That finger, okay? Hoping to learn more about this rare condition, researchers at the University of Florida have been testing Ashland since 2004. And a few years ago, we're able to pinpoint the exact gene that affects how strongly pain signals are sent to the brain. Findings that may one day lead to new pain treatments. There's a reason for everything, and uh, Ashland's here for a reason. But for today, Ashlyn, just a normal 12-year-old girl who loves pageants and playing in the school band. Woo! And crocheting. It's turned into a fundraising tool for an astonishing family project. All of these you're going to sell, you're going to raise money for the camp. Yep. Ashlyn had a dream one night that we started a camp for families like us. I knew instantly what I was meant to do. That dream became reality this past November when the family started Camp Painless But Hopeful and hosted eight families also dealing with this incredibly rare condition. What was it like to see Ashlyn associating, having fun, playing with other kids? It was like... The... <laughs> it was an amazing, amazing, unforgettable time for sure. I mean... To actually be in a room and presence of someone who knows what we've been through. I mean, know your daily life, your daily struggles, and know you're not alone anymore. I mean, it was just amazing. Cue the music, please. Yeah. Maestro. In exchange for my crochet lessons, Ashlyn made me go back to my Dancing with the Stars days and teach her a waltz. That's it. You're doing it. A special moment with a remarkable young girl that I will never forget. You should be on Dancing with the Stars. When you daydream about the future, what does that look like now for Ashley? I think it's going to hold everything she wants it to.